Great job, guys. Way to rally to the football. This is our best game of the year right here. All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. John Eads with you here for another game. We got Mississippi State rolling in. They're two and five. They're terrible below 500 and we got a chance to you know push them out of a potential uh, bowl game this year and we're back at it after beating Auburn in a pretty competitive game there uh, on the road in Jordan Hare so check that out if you missed it also did a recruiting episode where we kind of um, you know furthered the foundational layers of our recruiting class we got two more commitments they're really solid players went over them talked about them check that up check those out if you missed them apologies it's been a few days since i posted i was visiting my girlfriend in buffalo there so obviously couldn't take the show on the road but we're back and i got a lot of exciting content i'm going to be working on for you guys we're going to have a lot of games a lot of recruiting and i'm going to be working on a playbook uh, video i did one maybe close to a year ago and uh, you guys seem to like it and people have been asking me to do another one because i play on the revamped version of the game so the playbook's a little bit different so i'm going to run you through my offensive playbook and do that video pretty soon, so you're not going to want to miss that. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's get into the episode. All right, we start with the sliders, as we always do. Heisman everything, six-minute quarters. Zero speed threshold. User numbers and CPU numbers. Really good sliders. I get really good games. I like to think I'm a pretty decent player, and last year we went 8-5. and five. So if you want good games against the computer, because obviously you can't play one-on-one -on -one really in this unless you got someone with you, uh, definitely recommend you use those sliders, so check them out. All right, let's see what Mississippi State's got. Uh, nothing really a quarterback to speak of. It looks like a pocket passer, low overall. Running backs are okay. They're not very fast, but, you know, the sliders are going to help them out a little bit, make them a little bit better than they actually are. Receivers, man, they just have no talent, like, at all. Uh, this Winston kid looks pretty good. Who's their impact guy? Do they have an impact guy? Not really a receiver, so interesting. Um, decent tight ends. Let's see. Offensive line. Good center. Pretty good interior. So, yeah, I mean, the offensive line's okay. Maybe their best offensive position group. But one of their top defensive ends is out with injury. One of their top D tackles is out with injury. This team is just garbage. Uh, good outside linebacker. Good Mike. Good linebackers. So maybe the strength of their team is defense. Good corner. Bad, strong safety. But, yeah, I think overall pretty good uh, on the offensive line. Not much of the skill positions, but that defensive front looks pretty serious. All right, what can we gather from this? Offense is one of the worst in the country. I guess ours isn't much better, but theirs is very bad, so we're good there because we can't, you know, we play complementary football with our number seven defense there. Defense is pretty good. They're mid in the 70s. They do turn the ball over. The best thing they do is the rush defense, I guess. So, I don't know. I mean, this isn't looking like too hard of a test. We got... Guys visiting, as I said, so we got to hit those bonuses, and you just can't take any team for granted. So I'm still waiting for that blowout game. Can this be that blowout game? Let's see if we can get it. Last thing, I didn't get to mention this. Uh, check out the recruiting episodes. You would already know this stuff. These are some of the guys that are visiting today. So we got Joseph Scott, a four-star athlete who projects to be tight end, a really good offensive lineman there in George Cook, and then a super speedy linebacker in Victor Thompson. So let's hit all those bonuses and show out for these guys today. Bruh. Get that. Thank you. We deserve that, bro. Man, we deserve that. All that BS they just had on that first try. That's a great play by Porter. Great blocks. Ha! Let's go. There we go. Way to read the defense. Bang! That's a great drive.
Oh, McCoy, what the hell? Come on, bro. You're way better than that. Big game for Livingston today. Oh, get there. What's up there? What a play. Let's go, dude. Like that. Oh, Chandler. Good hands, though. Great stop. Man, reading the defense well today. Let's go. What a dime. What a dime. I mean, that was unreal. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Bam! Let's go! They can't stop us today. Gotcha, bitch! Time out. Let's go! Huge tackle there. Nice catch. Got to take a shot to the end zone, I guess, here. Oh! <laughs> he got it! That's unreal, bro! Last play of the first half. Sean Brown mosses the corner and gets his feet down. Are you kidding me? I was just like, whatever, man. If he gets it, he gets it. If not, whatever. Let's go. Expose him. Oh, yeah. Best run of the year right here. Absolutely. Finally, been waiting for that freaking play to hit, man. Let's go. We're going off today. Get it! Oh, ho, 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 ho. good hit! Great job, guys. Way to rally to the football. This is our best game of the year right here. All right, good win, uh, pretty easy, anticlimactic, and we finally got kind of a blowout there, so love to see it. Could have been worse, but I was getting bored of playing them, so rolled out of there. Great game for Edwards, 19 of 24, couple of misses in there, 239, four touchdowns. He's really turned it on lately. Very impressive stuff. Uh, Josh Tucker with his best Georgia Tech game ever, 16 for 140, 68-yard house call on a counter, and that touchdown, love to see it. Receiving-wise, Livingston went off, especially in that first half. Eight for 107 and two touchdowns. He's probably our best receiver this year. Uh, but Sean Brown had a big game, too. Three for 66. That last second touchdown there in the first half, uh, it was his only touchdown, but still was an awesome play. I've been waiting to see some of that from him. Even Stephen Burr just got a touchdown at tight end there. So love to see it. 
Defensively, really happy with the defense. They played so well today. Uh, didn't have to do much, but, you know, that's complimentary football, right? Had a sack. Joe Chandler forced a fumble, I believe, on that, too. Yep, he did. We didn't recover it, but still, great play. He might be drip of the day for this week, or it might be Wayne Rogers, who played really well. Four tackles, three solos, a TFL. A couple of TFLs today. Quite a few, actually. Uh, all those guys there had a deflection. So, yeah, overall, defense is great. Offense had its best game of the season. We play like that, we're going to win a national championship. You guys best believe. Uh, complimentary, as I said. Here we go. 385 in offense. Run game was good. Pass game was good. They really couldn't get much going on either side of the ball. They had one big play. That's about it. We are really good on short yardage situations, third and fourth down. They couldn't get us off the field. And uh, no turnovers. Dominated time possession. That's how we like to win football games. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Good W there. Absolutely blew them up. They were god-awful, as we thought they would be. We looked like the number one team in the country. Recruiting episode next. We'll see how many guys that we're visiting will commit, potentially. So stop on by uh, for that when that comes out pretty soon here. Again, playbook video coming soon. Definitely going to want to see it after today's game. The offense was buzzing. So can't wait to put that together. Like, subscribe. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch you in the next episode. Peace. Go Jackets.